Hi everyone, we're pretty excited. We are quickly loading up. Uh, this is Labor Day weekend and this is the Sunday. We uh, got free tonight, so we are packing up. We're gonna only go about 13 miles away. We're starting a new series called Camping for Free at Missouri Conservation Areas. We hope we find a spot and we're taking you along. Hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so where I can find myself. Okay, we are on our way. We have left our house. We're entering the junction of Route Z and Interstate 70. If you're coming off of the interstate, you're going to take this exit right here to get to Marshall Diggs Conservation Area. That is where we're headed. We just go over. As you can see, we did not hook up the Jeep. We're only about 13 miles from home, and we're going to be on lettered highways that are pretty rough, and you are going to be in the heart of mid-Missouri. So, thanks for coming along if you're with us. I'll be taking pictures of uh, each highway that we turn on, and then uh, we'll get grab video when we get there. We turned left at the Y. I have a vault toilet. We have a little marker for the guy who this is named after. My hammock's up. There's Dave. The dog's already up in the camper sleeping. Uh, come down and I'll show you the lake. Uh oh, we've never camped at this spot before, but this may become our new favorite here. Usually we camp in the back where those uh, people were at the shelter, but we got this pretty view and uh, this lake has lily pads and the flowers are blooming and it's beautiful. So here we are for the night. Uh, we'll give you a tour of this place tomorrow. Uh, there's some hiking right back that trail. That trail actually goes down into the woods and you turn right and you end up over at that other lake. And there's another place across the pond that uh, has some hiking. We might go over there later on tonight.
wait until I pan over for this sunset. We are so grateful that we are here. It's beautiful. In mid-Missouri, camping for free at Marshall Diggs Conservation Area. We are by ourselves. Okay, we're at camp. There's Dave. Y'all see him back there? We're out uh, hunting for some wood for fire tonight. We don't need a lot, but uh, we are looking for some. Thought I'd bring you back here to this trail I was talking about that we uh, went down before. As you can see, we're in the woods of Missouri. So Missouri Conservation Department does a great job of conserving, conserv you know, saving our lands. Um, we were here last fall and there were some beautiful spring flowers over on the other end. And we hiked from the other lake where the shelter was over here to this lake. And I was going to go down that trail and show you uh, what it's like. It's not very far, maybe a quarter of a mile, but uh, they haven't mowed it. We ended up right there. So I'm just going around the lake. We're looking for wood. I am in shorts and... I, in Missouri, in August, end of August, September, ticks, poison ivy. I'm very allergic to poison ivy. I'm not tempting that. But just trust me, there's a trail from here. goes down, and you'll end up over by the shelter. All right. We are having so much fun. Even though we've been here before. It's beautiful. We just finished supper. Now we're getting the fire going. It's going to be a beautiful night. What are you doing over there? I'm trying to break a tree branch. Well, don't break the guy's monument. Well, I hope not. I know. It's been built since 64, I think. It is beautiful out here, isn't it? We're going to have a beautiful sunset. Okay, this is a uh, Marshall Diggs Wildlife Area. It's a 1,017 acre site. Marshall I. Diggs donated uh, 610 acres to the conservation area. And then the Fire Brick Company and Wellsville Van Dana donated another 160 acres. And then some uh, foundation or fund after Mr. Diggs passed away, they bought another 400 acres site to add on to all this in the Montgomery Audrain County line. Here's the map. Right here, and you can see the county line. So the Montgomery Audrain line goes right through this lake that we're in right now, just to the west of us. And then uh, Walter Lake has got the. That's where the shelter was. There. That's where the shelter's at. And, and this little Luda River over here, and Wellsville Lake's back over there. And the road that we came in? We came in out of Wellsville off of ZZ and RA comes right around all the property and then into the county road 750. And there's a Y, you can either go north or south. And we may go later, isn't there a spot on the other side? There's a parking lot and a lake over here, and they got some other stuff off the county roads over here on the other side of the Luda River, so you can hike or go to the Luda Little River and fish over there, but you have to hike into it. They got parking lots off the county road. Hunting in this area as well? Oh yeah. Turkey hunting, wildlife, a deer, quail. Pretty. It's very pretty here. You know, we might be glad that those people were at where we normally camp at the shelter. It is very pretty here. And here's our little setup. <laughs> Thank you. 
did. Dave, it works. I got a new selfie stick. And this little thing on my new phone starts it and stops it. It is the little things that in, entertain us. Good morning. Uh, we got a fire going. Gonna heat up some water for some oatmeal. There's your view. Uh, we've got misty rain. It is beautiful. Uh, Dave's still in the truck camp for sleeping. Bandit, me and Bandit, we're up enjoying the fire. Uh, here in a little bit, after we eat, we'll take you on a tour of the other side of the campground where we drove by yesterday and go take a look at that lake and give you some history of Marshall Diggs Conservation Area. Beautiful morning. We got a lot of the lily pad flowers blooming. So pretty. Okay, we're getting ready to do our tour. First, we've gotten most of our stuff packed up. We're going to get ready to go home. But we're going to do a tour first. Uh, Dave wanted to show you our Missouri conservation notebook that we made. Uh, we've got every conservation area that you can camp at. There's our index. Then you find the page. And here's Marshall here's Diggs. Marshall Diggs. And they got a little bit more of a, I saw Wellsville Lake, we didn't have one of them yet. And here's our app. Yep, we use the Missouri Conservation app. So, like it's right there, click on that, usually hit skip, and it pops up the nearest ones where you're at by location. And then you can just search where you want to go. You got symbols for camping. Yep. Hunting, fishing, whatever. Okay, we're getting ready to get the dog, and we're going to go take a look at that other lake. Okay, we are about to the Y. We're taking the dog for a walk. Uh, our truck camper's back there. We're heading down to the lake that we were going to camp at yesterday. There's a camper, some tents. Yeah, that's a seven acre lake. Seven acre lake. Um, we are going to try to hit as many Missouri conservation areas as we can this fall and this winter. Uh, we were already going to do that anyway. But now that we got the YouTube channel, it just makes it more fun. Uh, so that everybody can see what Missouri has to offer. We do love Missouri Department of Conservation areas. They take such great care of the land. Uh, mowed, nice, bathrooms are clean. Has so many things to do in Missouri that are for free. And now that we have been up to Wisconsin and Michigan, you have to pay yearly recreation passes to go to state parks you have to pay daily permits to go to county parks yep. uh, you have to pay to use the boat ramp so grateful that we live in missouri and as our picture showed last night missouri has so much beauty and we are looking forward to sharing it with you all uh anything else while we go head down to this lake dave well all the conservation areas usually have parking areas and you can you know, some of the places allow hunting and stuff like that and you can go look for birds and plants trees and guys that hunt and they can you know scout areas for putting their deer stands up or turkey stands and stuff like that when it's in season now most uh conservation areas have free camping but you need to check before you leave or check that app like dave had uh we made the mistake headed out to blind pony conservation area over toward Kansas City and we Long just Missouri River. assumed that there was free camping there and we got there and there was not free camping there. 
but that ended up being a blessing because that's when we were able to so check Van out Meter. Van Meter State Park. Uh, we're also going to be doing state park videos. We're just so excited and to share. Blind Pony I used to let camp, a lot of camping, but it, they changed that back in 2016 or 17, and I didn't know it. All right, we'll catch you up when we're down here at the lake. Come on, Bandit. Don't want to encroach on there. Packing up. I did want to show you the spot. <coughs> Good morning. 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 How are you guys doing? Beautiful day. Okay, I came back down here just to show you this camping area. Plenty of room for tents. Plenty of room for an RV. Uh, when we stayed here, we backed the truck camper up right there. The lake is right there. Fire ring by the shelter. There you go. Water out of the lake. Pull up our back in here, hook our hose up. Yeah, you take hose. Well, actually, what it does is bring a pump in oh, and they'll use tankers. Okay, Dave's talking about this little pipe right here. Uh. Can you do a short version of what you just said? Uh, that's a connection for fire trucks to pump water out of lakes for fires in the neighborhood. Yep. They pump it into tankers, and tankers will go to the where the fire's at, where the other fire truck's at, for pumpers. Always make sure you put your fire out. Okay, while Dave is doing that, we are going to go ahead and leave you here at Marshall Diggs Conservation Area. Uh, one more thing, just to note, when you're camping at Missouri Conservation Areas, expect locals to come in. They use this also for fishing and uh, camping and whatever, but locals drive through a lot. Um, I think this is it, Dave, so... Yep, see you at the next stop. We'll see you on the road.